Well, the key issue is that in the Vancouver Coastal Health, we serve over you know, one million patients. Uh, and so within that, there's greater than one third of the patients with uh, mother tongue other than English or French. So as a result, we want to uh, provide good care to these patients and remove any uh, language barrier that there may be in providing the best care we can. In person or even virtual uh, interpretation uh, plays a crucial role in, in regards to making the right diagnosis, uh, in terms of communication, understanding the patient's needs, and also communicating proper treatment plan. We know that it is really important to have face-to-face -face or in-person interaction with the patients or with the clients that we serve. But because of COVID-19, we cannot do it. With um, the Vancouver Coastal Health, that has set up an advisory committee consists of members or leaders from the settlement and labor houses community that we can provide advice or, or consultation as to how to do it well in engaging people in the project. There was a working group established and this has brought together healthcare professionals from within the organization, community stakeholders uh, representing, you know, those that are needing these services, as well as some of the decision makers and leaders within the organization. So there were multiple modes of engagement, uh, including many consultations with the, with the working group, but also a general population survey done in multiple languages, one-to-one -one interviews, key stakeholders, uh, and then focus groups. Uh, done with interpretation in four different languages and the intersectional part of it was having an idea jam with youth there was also engagement with their indigenous communities this project has deepened the relationships between vancouver coastal health and community organizations providing services to newcomers and other people with limited english proficiency VCH immediately implemented the learnings from the engagement by committing to timely and continuous translation of all phase two vaccination rollout materials into 11 languages, including simplified, traditional Chinese, and American Sign Language.